everybody. Um, welcome to season three of my LGBTQ educational videos. I'm so glad I made it up this far with all these ideas to educate you guys. Because I feel that education is important because it's very important to know that we are all human beings inside and out. As much as it is important to and for school education, you know what I mean? So anyways, um... So, uh, first of all, I'm going to talk a little bit about myself. I, you probably know who I am. I am a straight ally. Part, I'm a safe homes pioneer and a hope clinician pioneer. Um... What got me involved with safe homes? I'm going to actually tell you the story that I've been really wanting to actually tell you. Now, it all pretty much started since like 7th grade, pretty much. Because back then, 7th grade, I was very close-minded. If I see two gay guys kissing, I'd be like, ew. But then again, that was like new to me when, I, when I'm okay with a guy and a girl kiss. Because... Back in 6th grade, I thought that was ill. But I had my first kiss in 7th grade with Phoenix. So that was like, ooh la la, when I see two people kissing. And in 8th grade, I met two lesbians. They were my friends in 8th grade. And that started me to be open-minded about gays and lesbians. And But I was I was not open-minded towards bis bisexual, um, bisexuals and transgenders. Quite yet, because one, bisexuals, I always thought they were confused, and two, I never even heard of a transgender or cross dresser, and I never heard of pen, pen, pansexuals, and I never heard of fluid people or bin, binary genders or asexuals. So, all that stuff, I just recently learned, not recently, but the evidence I've been to see from, so I learned that stuff. Um, and then, 10th gra grade. I'm always into getting to clubs. Like ninth grade, I joined four clubs: knitting, news, newspaper, drama, and best buddies. And then tenth grade came, and I got into more clubs. Still in the original four clubs, by the way. But I also joined GSA club, and GSA club, gay, straight, and lions, opened my mind towards more about gay people, and tra and bisexuals. And a little bit about transgenders. I know about safe homes. I didn't exactly know anything about that much. Um, I know there was a place, but I did not know where it was, what time, when it was, um, and what kind, what is it all about. I, all I know is I met a few people at Worcester Pride, and then I was doing YCI, Youth for Community Improvement. Um, I was supposed to do a community service project at YCI, and um, there's a, a girl in, in at YCI named Sam, who was a pioneer at Safe Homes, and she told me about Safe Homes, and so she dragged me along there, and I became a pioneer pretty much overnight, and um, that's what got me into Safe Homes, that one week, when you got me into because they had a poetry stand that week. It was like the day before my birthday and they had a poetry stand. So I keep going to safe homes every week. Learning so much about the LGBTQ community. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and, and Christian youth. Q can also mean queer, too. And then I learn about asexuals. Um, pen, pen, pansexuals. Um, so many. And I was like, oh my god, it's... And so I became more open-minded, and I found out a whole coalition by safe homes as well when doing the um, pioneer networking event. The next day from that event, I joined Hope, and then I've been doing Hope and safe homes for like two years, pretty much. Um, of course, a couple months apart. Hope Wednesdays, safe homes Thursdays. Ever since I turned 18, I've been trying to do P flag, but it's hard sometimes. At the time, my dad worked at Price Rice, so it was kind of hard. 
also because I ha had a juggle with hope. And then P flag is for parents and friends of lesbian and gays. And you have to be 18 to join P flag. Is that the safe rooms building? Yay. And then um, at, at a hope event, I found out about Strackley. So I decided to go to Strackley the next week. And I had a good time. Strackley is another organization that supports gays and other LGBT youth. So, and ever since all this stuff happens, I became more and more passionate about the LGBT community. And just recently, at Hope, we've been doing a project, and I told them that I would like to work on creating more safe spaces for the LGBTQ community. So it's nice having my passion to be shown at Hope. Um, so that's a, lot, a long story that I keep adding on. Um, so yeah. Um, So with me, the reason why I got into all these groups in the first place is because I'm the kind of person that always like to be active, always like to meet new people, always want to join new things. So that's pretty much the root and the base why I even joined Safe Rooms to begin with. Because I was just curious about what was this organization about. And the fact that they have all these activities and dances and all that stuff. And friends. I get to know about um, that when you sold me on that. Um, and I know that when you have an activity or group in mind, you can go to the drop in and present it. I've been trying, really wanting to do a working group at Safe Homes, but for some reason um they either forgot about it or they push it back and then they forgot about it that's why um i ha i made working videos on my other channel um if you want to check that out um but yeah so that's all i want to say with this video i hope you like this video and subscribe like um comment Give me any more ideas on topics for me to give you. Um, but yeah, see you in my next video. Bye.